with solar power there's, there's two different systems, but the main system that we're using these days is what's called a grid interactive system. I think it's fantastic, it's a great idea. I don't know why all the houses in Australia don't have a solar panel on the roof, I mean, considering it's sunny most days. With a grid interactive system, you simply have solar panels on a roof, you have two wires that come out of those solar panels and go through a circuit breaker, then they go into a box which fits on the wall of the house, that's called an inverter, that's the thing that turns the DC into AC, then you, the electricity comes out of the inverter and goes straight back into the system. I'm taking delivery some panels that we're going to put on a, um, a roof in um, Redfern. How long would it take you to do it? Uh, it's two days work there. On your own? No, no, no. Go, got to have someone with you. You're up on a roof. You need uh, help. The panels are fairly large. They're 1,600 long by 800 wide. Um, they're not very heavy, but they're bulky, you know? Mm. So you've got the magic working with you? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Yeah. Team up and, and do the job. I've always had an interest in alternative energy. Um, now there's some impetus. Yeah, well now it's all happening. The only other component in the whole installation is a bi-directional meter which allows you to register the electricity you use and also the electricity that goes back into the grid. Uh, it's a very, very simple system. It is quiet, it's clean, there are no moving parts, there's nothing to wear, um, there's no maintenance required on it. Occasionally, if you're in a very bad area, it would, it's a good idea to clean the panels, but that's only 5% of the cases. There's nothing to do with it. All it does is sit there and make power every time the sun comes up.